Hello everyone, and welcome to the third Hammer tutorial. This tutorial will work for all Source Engine games. If you have not watched the first and second tutorial, I recommend you go back and watch those. As I make these, I'm expanding on the knowledge and assuming that you guys are watching each tutorial. Today we're going to be getting more intimate with the brush tool and an introduction to how the clipping tool works. So today we're going to create a structure with a few doors, a couple windows, some rooms, and an outside patio area. I already have my no draw texture selected, so we're just going to go ahead and hop to it. So my 3D view, I'm going to create a floor, and I have my camera set to 3D flat. I don't like to stare at no draw all day, so this is just easier on my eyes. My walls here are going to be 256 units high, and you know what? I think this wall over here, this wall should come in a little bit. It's going to be half the height and let's decide where that's going to go to. I'm going to drag this brush up and just pull it back to about here. So I need to split this brush to be able to have this happen. So I'm going to select it and press Shift X or the clipping tool. You'll notice my grab points disappear and if I draw a line you'll see that a line is drawn through a brush. If you press O it will turn on and off the brush measurement sizes of the pieces that you're going to cut. I recommend that you keep this on as it's useful information to have. When cutting a brush, there are three modes that the clipping tool can have. Split, remove one, or remove two. When both sides of the brush are white, that's splitting the brush. To toggle these, simply press Shift X or click the clipping tool icon again, and it will cycle through these modes. Now that I've clicked it, the bottom, or the second side, is red. That means that that side is going to be deleted. If I press it again, it'll switch to the other side, and if I press it again, it will go back to the splitting mode. If you press enter, it will cut that brush into two brushes. This will now allow me to pull this brush in and get the desired effect that I want. Now we're going to use the same method to make a door in a room back here. So first let's construct the room. And now let's cut the door. So we're going to select this brush, and we see in our 2D view where we want to make the cut. So I'm going to cut vertically here, keeping both sides of this brush, and pressing enter. I'm going to press Shift X again, and go vertically up, and press enter. So now I have three brushes. This is exactly what I wanted. I'll take this middle brush, and just pull it up. And this will create the doorway that I want. If you need an idea of how tall your doors are, just place an entity and this will give you a reference to how big it is to the player. Now we're going to create an outside patio area. Patio is going to be decently big. Lower walls. So now we just need to make some windows in this brush here and a door so the player can get out. We're going to cut vertically here and vertically here. So now we have three brushes again. We're just going to take this part and pull it up. We'll notice that there's a hole here. We want to plug that hole. I'll go into leaks in a later tutorial. And now let's make some windows. So windows are a four hole cut. We'll cut here, across vertically. We'll cut again across vertically. So now we have these three brushes vertical. I'll cut here. So I've split these two into two different brushes. And then I'll clip here, and I'll make it so this inside part where I want the window to be is red, and it'll get deleted. And now I'll just do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Now we have our two windows. Now let's go ahead and create our sky as well. For this, I'm going to go to the textured view. I'm going to select these three pieces and copy them up vertically. Then go to my texture and select Skybox. I'll select the tool Skybox texture and apply it to all of these textures. Then I'll select this and move it all the way over here. Now we just need to texture our level. I'm going to use the dev texture, the orange and gray that we've used previously. I'm just going to fly through and texture all of this really quick. All right, that seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and save the level, and we'll compile it and see how it looks in game. Once again, the compile should go very fast because this is still a very basic level. 
We'll load our map up. And after a few seconds, we should be in game. We have our doorway. Our windows that we can look out to. And the skybox that we set up from the previous tutorial. This is once again a very basic tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned for more important information on Source Engine Mapping. Thanks once again and happy mapping.